every five years on it. He's throwing everything against the wall to see what sticks and now accusing gas companies of war profiteering when so far the FTC found none of the oil companies have been price gouging. Oil companies, record profits today are not because they're doing something new or innovative. Their profits are a windfall of war. At a time of war, any company receiving historic windfall profits like this has a responsibility to act. So now the president wants to add a profit windfall tax on oil companies unless they increase production. Now, former Treasury Secretary Larry Summers agrees with oil industry groups, tweeting, I'm not sure understand the argument for a windfall profit tax on energy companies. If you reduce profitability, you will discourage investment, which is the opposite of our objective. So listen here to the senior vice president of policy for the American Petroleum Institute. They talk about the need for more supply, uh, but they respond by shutting down production in, on federal lands and waters. They talk about the need for more infrastructure, but they cancel pipeline projects. They talk about the need to reduce costs, and then they raise taxes. So the political rhetoric is one thing, but the policies actually matter. And so there are no changes in policies from this White House. Just now a lot more finger pointing from the